The Riddler and Leaker is back with more information for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so let's dive in and talk about the new coin Pokemon, the new Fairy Steel Pokemon, and much, much more. Let's do it. All right, so Riddler Koo posted this the other day, uh, yesterday, saying Parrot, Mice, TLJJ, Dolphin, Boxes, R, Ox, Space, Pig, Space, Engine, and Coin. And some people have kind of taken to this and done a little bit of, uh, you know, riddle solving. And we've kind of figured out what this is, basically. So let me break it down for you guys. Very simply put, it's talking about different things having alternate forms versus having gender differences versus having unobtainable forms. So the idea behind it is the top line is speaking about the parrot, which we believe to have multiple forms, much like Vivian, uh, the parrot Pokemon that was shown in kind of the bottom screenshot of the kind of HUD, that's believed to have multiple forms. The mice Pokemon is believed to have multiple forms, maybe with more or less mice. TLJJ is actually Dunsparce's evolution, we believe, and it's possible that that has a different form. So maybe uh, it has different forms based on its ability, much like Aegislash, or maybe it has different forms based on another mechanic. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Dolphin, we already knew that the Dolphin Pokemon was gonna have a different form, and I believe it's based on its ability, kind of like Wishy-Washy in a way. The box legendaries, we know have different forms, obviously, as you can ride on them, Karad and Imuridon, so that's nothing new. And then the regional ox, which is Tauros, we know it's got three different forms uh, based on different typings, so not surprising there. Then moving to Pig, Pig, we know that Lechonk has a gender-based evolution that doesn't, it's not a different Pokemon, it's just it looks very different based on gender, much like Pyroar would be the perfect example there. And then Engine and Coin is believed to be that these two Pokemon have alternative forms that are unobtainable, essentially, right? So Engine being what Team Star has modified to create their new car thing, right? They've got their little car that they're rolling around in. Well, it's believed that we're not going to be able to obtain our own version of that, but we'll have the Engine itself. And then the Coin Pokemon, which has been much of the discussions going into this game, kind of one of the main things. Uh, that is something that um, we'll have a different form as well. So we're going to kind of dive in a little deeper into this. Uh, Pearl uh, Enthusiast or Palkia Origin on Twitter did some diving. So we'll talk about some of the coin stuff. I think that's the most interesting piece of the puzzle here. And then we'll kind of go from there. So the coin mon we saw in the trailer is just a cell and not the actual Pokemon. So that was basically one of the Zygarde cells, right? Or the Spear Tomb Wisps. Think of it that way. If you guys remember kind of in the background of that menu, there was like this like almost look like a spider slash bug type thing that was this coin Pokemon. So coin is just a code name. That's actually not what it's called. Uh, we've been calling it the coin mon, but just something to note there. You'll need a very large amount of coins to evolve the coin mon. Gathering coins is not necessary. You can catch wild first stage to get plus 10 or plus 50 coins. Not sure, but wild coin bug is only plus one. So if you find the coins to gather, you'll get, um, you know, you'll get plus one. You can maybe get more coins by getting the first stage. It's, it's a little confusing, but the idea behind it is think of it much like the Zygarde quest where you're going to obtain these cells. And as you obtain the cells, you'll be able to get it to its stronger form. You can reset the spawns by going into buildings. You can leave an area far enough. And apparently the coin Pokemon has an OP ability and a move that is super duper good. It's apparently like 150 base power move, five PP with no drawback. So like imagine a hyper beam that didn't recharge. Like this could end up being one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. Uh, so it's actually really exciting. So uh, coin Pokemon apparently very, very cool, but I guess it's gonna be really hard to get, really annoying to get. So that's just something to make note of, but that's kind of some of the insight that we've gotten from the Riddler. The next thing we're gonna talk about are the raids and kind of some of the leaks that we got about the raids. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys Pentera. We just revealed Pentera for my project Elestrals, which is launching on Kickstarter on November 15th. Today begins our 30 day countdown where we're gonna be revealing new Elestrals and new cards every single day up until the launch of Kickstarter on November 15th. So if you wanna follow the project, you can go to elestrals.com and follow the social media pages or join our Discord server at discord.gg slash Elestrals. Pentera looks awesome and that's just one of the amazing Many, many amazing Elestrals we have for this game. It's incredible. You guys have been playing with me. I was just in Discord before recording this, playing against you guys. So I've been having a blast. If you haven't checked out the project yet, I highly encourage it. You do not want to miss out on this project. I have poured my heart and soul into Elestrals this year, and I think it's going to be very, very awesome. It already is. So thank you very much, and enjoy Pantera. So we know that there's going to be seven-star raids that are going to be very difficult. They're going to have Paradox Pokemon and level 100 final stages. Uh, apparently there's a day one patch. Uh, there's a bug for the seven star raids because there's like a one HP bug 
that makes them really easy to beat. But otherwise, these new raids are gonna be very difficult and you're probably not gonna be able to do them by yourselves. Like six and seven star raids are very hard to beat on your own. It's recommended that you bring friends. That was kind of the recap that we got from the Riddler. There's a Pokemon that's gotten a lot of attention, which is like the Hammer Pokemon. We believe it to be Fairy and Steel type. That's an early game Pokemon apparently, and much like the Riddler indicated that the new bug Pokemon are early, early game, it seems as though this Hammer Pokemon is gonna be early game as well. And Fairy Steel is such a great ability, or great typing. And again, this is one of the Pokemon that apparently one of the Elite Four members uses. So keep an eye out for that. That could be a really good Pokemon to add to your team early game. The Pseudo Legendary, which we believe to be Dragon and Ice is going to be late game, but that's not surprising. They've given us pseudo legendaries early in the game before and there may be some that we can get like a Bagon or a Larvitar, but the one for this particular game is gonna be pushed back late. I'm hoping for C-Titan early because that'll be the ice type that I grab, but this dragon and ice type Pokemon could be really cool. And then we know that there's like this flower Pokemon that leaked way early on that was like terrestrialized into I think a poison type. That also is a Pokemon that's a late game Pokemon. So don't expect to see that anytime soon when you're starting off your journey. So that's more or less the kind of most recent leaks. There was another post that the Riddler had posted that I thought was interesting. It was a screenshot of the Pokemon that are not gonna be in the game as well as not on any of the games that you can actually get right now through the transfers, I guess. And it includes Snivy, Servine, Superior, Tepig, uh, Pignite, and Embor. From there, you got Patrat and Watchog. You got the Monkeys, Simi Sage, Simi Seer, uh, Panpour, Panseer, whatever. Blitzel, Zebstrika. You've got um, the Levani line. You've got Ducklet and, and uh, Swana. And then you've got um, Furfru, Hoopa, Pikipex line, and then Minior. So these Pokemon are not going to be in the game. Uh, they, I believe they weren't in Sword and Shield either. So these are kind of like... Basically, the ones that aren't on the Switch, I think, is what this list is. These are the non-Switch games, right? Because when you go back to, like, Alola and stuff, where some of these Pokemon existed, that was pre-Switch era. So, I think these are the Pokemon that are still left out of the Pokedex from the Switch. We may see them make a return in the DLC that's been heavily speculated at this point. We're probably going to see a DLC, so expect to see them make some sort of return at that point. But these are the Pokemon that are at the very bottom of the barrel right now. These are the ones that are super-duper left out. And the franchise they're not even going to be available on the switch but go go is now so that's more or less it what we've got going on for pokemon scarlet and violet leaks and updates based on what we saw the last couple weeks there's a real chance that there's another trailer this week like i wouldn't get your hopes too high but it's possible that they're going to be revealing stuff you know every week or at least every couple weeks leading up to launch as we are about a month away and we still don't have middle evolutions or really a lot of things there's a lot of things that have leaked that we don't have yet that i could see them teasing or at least revealing over the next couple weeks. But if you didn't hear, Alestrals is gonna be revealing something every single day for the next 30 days over on our social channels. So check us out at Alestrals.com and show some love for the Pantera reveal. We've got a sweet giveaway going on on Twitter and beyond, so don't miss out on that. Let me know your thoughts on all the leak updates for today and like and subscribe if you enjoyed. That's it for me, guys. My name is Dana, I'll go by Adrob, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.